monster. Why won't you connect it? Why did you say that with like, such, like angry? Uh, because you, you, you all seem to have to say that. By the way, welcome back to Chaos. Thank uh, you. We're at one of the. We're back recording, I assume. Yes. Uh, yes. So, anyway, as as he continues. Uh, you are all quite adventurous, so perhaps uh, naive. That you've only been to the one realm. Where you went through another. <laughs> Brandon and Crowlock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's us. <laughs> <laughs> Is this position? Uh, and I, I think just for the sake of uh, for now, to like come up with a different thing. Call them, like, we'll call them the Watchers, like, which is a Marvel reference. Well, yeah, so. yeah, that's, I've been waiting on it. Placeholder name? Yeah, or, a okay. placeholder name until I come up with something different. Where's Steve? <laughs> like, cool. Just wondering if when you're going to ask us to, like, guard some kind of galaxy. <laughs> now... <laughs> You will find that in these different realms, Technos functions in different ways. Uh, so, you, Leas, will probably be the most affected by the transport. The transport to various God, areas. Got to have purple that want to shoot stuff with a bow now. But, uh, we do have this. This is entirely up to you wish to partake thereof. You absolutely can. Do not wish to for various reasons of your own. I understand completely. It's a lot. It's a lot to take in. Well. Well. I wouldn't mind doing it, but I think we should take care of our own home first. Take, o take over your own Take home? care. Oh. I Audience lift. He's eating. Under, <laughs> understand. <laughs> yes. No, of course. You need the rest of the pieces of the program. Okay. So, once those are gathered, then we can discuss more. Yes. Soren? Or is this Alex of Soren? That's Soren. Okay. What happens if we collect all of them? Shinron. In general? Comes. Well. You talk to Shinron. Depends. That's a great question. We got told you to get something, we don't know what does, okay? I'm just saying. The Fuck pieces, all. the pieces of the Pearl of Avon contain within it the power of Naut, the god of technology. Who you know as Sven. <laughs> just really not see that coming. <laughs> so you said the power of technology. <laughs> I like it. I did not, but uh, I like it. It will give you knowledge and information required to create extra dimension. Can you work with it? Yeah. What's it? Uh, transportation. It's going to be able to bounce between the places. Places, yes. Uh, you will find yourselves changed and when you go from place to place. Which mm -hmm. in real in sort of game terms means that when you bounce from realm to realm, like example, uh, if you were to go to the Star Wars, the Star Wars realm, it uh, would use the Star Wars T20 system. So this is an Alex question now. Females, I think this feels like in-game. You to start a new game? I don't know. Well, it it's like, like a series of... Different things we do in each world. Different things in each world. So world it's a way to end like the it. story to give us... Chance to go to different stories to start your shoppers. That yeah. will be continuous. Just clarify. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Rand just walks up to him and he's like, So you're Avon, right? And he's looking up at him. You know, just. Yes. Okay. Whenever we get these pearl pieces, me and you are going to have to have a chat about some things. He just walks back. Like, he doesn't. He's, he's threatening Alex. God. <laughs> I just think you're running this place pretty fucked up. Uh, 
It's just a random thing. <laughs> I <gotcha. laughs> okay. He's stupid. We can absolutely chaotic stupid. We can we can absolutely have more discussions on this topic. I have <laughs> nothing but time. Oh my god, there's a, there was an ant in my hair. You should wash your hair more. Shouldn't lay on the fucking beam. Yeah, the beam has ants. It's tricky. You also shouldn't lay on the uncle beam either, though. Or the gym beam. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I have kept... Hey, this is an intervention. <laughs> I have kept my power at its at a minimal state here, so you do not be worried about insanity or anything of that nature. Pay for somebody to go insane. Uh, Who are these other guys? And he just ran just waves to the f four people left sitting in the chairs. There are other deities. Stanley, Joss Whedon. <laughs> 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 Stanley and Joss Whedon would totally make this. <laughs> you can't really see who they are. Lucas. Maybe Ridley Scott. No, let's not Just Lucas that Lucas. they are, you know, seated. With, you know, Have they moved at all? Said no. any? No, okay. They were sitting there watching you. Yeah. <coughs> I've just been watching. Do you have any questions for me at the moment? The only question I have is that. Um, actually, I do have another question. Yes. Is there any way that we can make the effect of these per the effect of these pearls lessen for us when we're carrying them? I okay. calls me to go a bit crazy. Remember. Bark starts to growl I at Soren a little bit, oh. like oh, just shit. under his breath. I have uh, actually already right, done. He's fine. That. Because while carrying the pearls pieces, caused him to be awakened, and he's just worried you a little bit. Bring upon yourselves the uh, crazier folks and evil folks trying to get at the pieces. Uh, attacks from powerful entities are not uncommon. That's fine. I just I was worried about the sanity of the people who were worried. I believe that your <laughs> but it was influenced by the other stuff, right? By the pearl? Just making sure I'm not going to go crazy when we get more pieces, that's all. You will not. I sure need a burrito. I'm also Excellent. concerned if we get to a certain set of universes if they'll fit into like a glove or something. <laughs> Power glove? A gauntlet. <laughs> we just we just call them infinity stones. I I I understand the reference. I see. Yeah, I, I get that. Well, I, yeah. I, I, we'll I, send I you back it. now. Yeah. How'd you make it to where you were trying to go? Great. My my Leah's will be out of the fear of God, and I'm just silent. I'm in. <laughs> like, the fear of God. Yeah, ah! quite literally. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm in. <clears throat> Bark actually walks up to him and that's like kinda like nuzzles on him. He's like, I know you didn't do it yourself, but thank you. Because it's his pearls that mm -hmm. awakened him. It's pearls. Her. <clears throat> You're welcome. Then he just licks him. <laughs> he's a dog. Uh, they kind of phase away. It's just a sort of empty space. And Rand flips them off right before see, they disappear. You, you see the swirl. It's awful white in here. Uh, I assume you didn't mean that. Okay. Just I did not mean life. that. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, that was. <laughs> Rand's still kind of emo because of that. And you see the, you see, you see the swirl again uh, of the teleportation magic, and you find yourself in uh, a room. That is uh, surrounded. It's kind of covered in bookshelves, uh, and there is an individual.
individual who is um, standing at one of the tables working on transcribing a spell scroll. Ooh. Is this new? I don't know where it's from. Huh. What is it? I just. The I don't remember seeing this many before. Thing. I gotcha. It is a. What are we gonna make this guy? What are we gonna make this guy? Dragon Boy. Who have you this? Not hard to anymore. So we drop into what you said, your books everywhere? Yes. Uh, a place that Leas feels very uncomfortable in. Uh, other, all of you, the rest of you not as much. Why does Leas feel comfortable there? It's a library. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, which is not Nerd! Just, just, he's, he's a studious mm -hmm. individual. Sorry, I'm reading something on the phone. Uh, no, sure. What was that? Rand just likes to read trashy romance novels. No <laughs> worries. Uh, let's see. He's very surprised. I know they're pretty jokes, so sorry. That you um, are there. I'll try to greet. He's like, hey, we are yeah, right. Chaos from Sardak City. He, he's like, kind of jumps up. He, yeah. He, he's a um, silver scale dragonborn. Wearing. Very nice robes. Mm -hmm. uh, he kind of pushes up his glasses. He's uh, kind of. Uh, hey. Hey. Do we uh, know where we are at all, by the way? Yeah, we know exactly where we are. Just two I did not know. Right we did? That people were coming. And it's like kind of messy. Yeah. North and stuff. It's. We. It wasn't I really called ahead. We had to get here quickly. We have a lot to I do. See. Grew with the guild. We have oh, to... Uh, I see. We hear you're having a problem with some things growing no, too much. No, they don't. Uh, they don't. But it's somewhere else. Oh. We need to go. Oh, yes. You're talking about Imako. Yeah, we're headed to Imako. Uh, I am I am Balthus. Good evening. Or is it good morning? I always say good morning, actually. You always say good morning. I always say good morning. <laughs> Top of the morning, please. Just good morning. It is still morning, yes. Uh, if that was an inquiry. Mm -hmm. um, it's a little bit before lunchtime. Ooh, second breakfast. Yeah. I don't think they know about second breakfast. You would. Did you want some, um, some tea or something while you're here? Do you have any questions about anything? Do um. We? No, I think we just need to head out of town and start okay. making our way. If we're uh, actually on the way to Imaku, is there? If we are going by land, is yeah. Anything you might want to tell? How, how are the roads? How's the road to Tanu? I mean, pretty direct. Is this the town you were talking about that we've never been to before? Yeah. <laughs> you never had anybody go to? Mm-hmm. Well, the roads are generally safe. Uh, sometimes not so much, <laughs> but I think we can handle it. Uh, I'm sure you seem capable. Just yap it. <clears throat> so nothing. If we stay on whatever the fastest path there, there's nothing that we might need to avoid or anything on the way. No areas of ill repute. Well, on that note, whenever we leave there. We should go by the nearest guild office <coughs> and see if there's any like big bounties along the way to where we're going. We should I actually. Ask about this on a side note. Uh, to the east of here, because you'll be heading east for late. Yeah. Um, there's a forest where the three rivers. And it's full of. <laughs> it's mostly elves, of course. But you have other things that fall in there as well. Um, the Nuku Rift 
is also in that direction towards, uh, it, it's, it heads into the desert. It's kind of a very large mm -hmm. uh, canyon uh, kind of thing. I guess by the name Rift. Right here. Um, okay. It's an ancient hole. Scary. Uh, like, <laughs> like your mom. Yeah. <laughs> um, <it is. laughs> Sometimes there are things that call out it that are like most your problematic. Most That's better. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, the town, the nearby town. Which was funny, actually. <laughs> does have a fairly it's very militaristic because of that. Yeah. Uh, to, to, to defend against any bullshit. See, the no, things sorry. coming out of the rift. Yeah, yeah. No, it's really funny, isn't it? Demonic forces or whatever. It's stacking. <laughs> um, <laughs> like, so, so it says something worse. <laughs> I would, if you have the means to do so, <coughs> um, get a decanter of endless water. I thought I have one. You might already have one. Yeah. I have the exact opposite of that. Uh, they're relatively easy to come by, especially. No, so I got, with Leas, I got the. Uh, you will have to cross a desert. A bottle of air and a bottle of water a long time ago. But A bottle of air is pretty easy to get. You just, it's a bottle. No, like. No, I, I, I know. That one's already this full. <laughs> okay, well. Are there any giants uh, in the desert? Yes. Where? Uh, many of them dwell in Imako. Um, I'm looking for one in particular. <coughs> some of them, uh, most of them, I would say, are nomadic within the desert. If I'm looking for a specific one, do you think you can point me in the right direction? I'm speaking in Draconic now. Yes. It's probably weirded out that a half elf can speak Draconic, right? <coughs> No, no it's, of, it's, it's, it's of particular interest, but yes, I theoretically could. Uh, do you talk? I'll do the car. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> he is the leader. Oh, great. <laughs> this will go well. Challenge the king. He has a, uh, he is one of the desert as a desert giant bodyguard. Uh, He's among, the king. Among other things, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Great. I don't understand the problem. <laughs> it's just great. That's what the problem is. It's great. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, For your help. Mm -hmm. In your of course. You know, learn all this shit for nothing. <laughs> like 8,000 languages I speak. What's what I use, motherfucker, Jane? Right? Indeed. Weirdest half elf ever. Huh? Weirdest half elf ever. That might be an understatement. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you notice um, also that his because his robes differ in their overall design? They're still horny. Has a lot more silks. And other very Eastern type to use. <coughs> Sitting off to the side near the near one of the bookshelves. Decanter, a rune decanter that is full of. Actually, there are, there are several. There's like a table that has a bunch of different decanters of differently colored techniques. <laughs> so he's definitely an, an, an experimenter. <laughs> yeah. And this is still in the library. This is still, yeah, okay, making sure we didn't move somewhere. Okay. Yeah. I am um, currently kind of working on this scroll type thing. So do you have any other questions? You're perfectly welcome as members of the guild to use the circle. A uh, yeah. little warning next time would be nice. Uh, if that's at all possible. We'll try. But I, I understand. Uh, sometimes you gotta... You know, we, we need to go. Gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> so, doors. we're not like in the guild hall. 
uh, for a local area, are we? Uh, you don't know. Yeah. It just kind of appeared. Uh, if, if I mean, sometimes you just kind of <laughs> If you're looking, nah, nah. I just wanted to see like what bounties were nearby <laughs> on the way. Like, if I go to like a magistrate's office or something. I'm just saying like multiple missions on the way. Yeah, I guess it would be the courthouse or something like that. That's the other option. As we're going out of town, might as well stop want, by and check. You'll want to speak with uh, Holly Tallgrass. She's the local uh, warden or sheriff. The partner, like the guild. She she's the local guild associate uh, manager or whatever. Cool general manager. <laughs> <laughs> Where would she normally be? Like, you know? Uh, yes, I do. Her office is right outside this door. Uh, go up the stairs. She's up, up, up another level. Uh, second floor on the left. Got it. So we go up there. Okay. <coughs> and knock politely. It's the middle of the day, so. Yes. Enter. Is there any? As I walk in, is there any bounties? Uh, uh, so, with, like as 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 you kind of walk in to that, uh, stole my thunder. I was going to do a thing. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> it's it's a it's very uh, nice office, but it it also has a degree of being fairly Spartan, in that there's just not a lot of uh, decoration in there. Uh, but what is there is very well built, and uh, you see her sitting behind a uh, full-size desk. So she looks really, really small, like <laughs> behind the desk. And you can tell that, like there, there are uh, five or six books stacked up on the chair under her so, butt. So she can <laughs> sit at the kind of appropriate height. <coughs> Come in. Um, and as we walk in, just ask him. She we're headed to Ulaco. Um, and you see that there's like a slightly glowing glyph on her uh, desk. On her desk. And, and she kind of like pushes a few of oh, the. Nice little keypad buttons. Yeah. <laughs> and. Uh, four chairs up here. Cool. Yes. Oh. Uh, give me just one second. She kind of signs a few more documents and puts some Sit down. guild stamps and stuff on it. Wax seals. And mm -hmm. <coughs> what can I do for you? We're headed to Amako. Just wondering if there's any trouble we could take care of on the way there. Uh, you guys... With the guild? Where are you based out of? Star Tech City. <coughs> okay. <coughs> you have a preference of. I don't know. Challenge. Types of things you do? Like challenge. What, is, is there a specialty? Um, some focus in like stealth, some focus in. Well, uh, some of us monster. tend to like things in bars, if you have anything there. <laughs> I, I think stealth is the right word he's looking for. <laughs> what do you call yourselves? Chaos. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I think that there is something that's right. Um, in in the forest of the beast, which is on the way to Mhm. Mm uh, <coughs> we're gonna go stop it and talk. Well, so say something. There is. That is me saying something. <coughs> well, do you not want extra money or stuff to do? What money do I need? Let's say we're all pretty dang rich. Even Rand is rich. Some of the elves. Should we just head out? That live in the 
forests have begun to go missing. So uh, you can look into that for us if you like. Okay. You don't have to. Yeah. I, I, I assume you're here for some more official capacity type business to just kind of appear all the way over here from Sartek City. Yeah, well, we uh, we really need to get a Mako. Fair enough. Uh, we you want horses? Can we get a wagon and horses? Well, that's feasible, yes. Cool. And supplies for uh, she kind of a trip calls out, or like she pushes a few more things on the keypad the there, and uh, <coughs> we're waiting for you outside of the gate. Great. So, and we're gonna head we walk down, as, like right before the door shuts, Rand just says, it's easier if you, <coughs> if, trust me, it's easier if you use bigger books, and then winks at her, and then just walks out. <laughs> He's had to do do the whole like sitting on books thing. You guys get outside. You're into this cat named Moppin. <laughs> Moppin. Moppin. He's the lead merchant for the uh, traveling carriage. Moppin. Yep. M A P A N. Moppin. Okay. Yep. I like it. He he's it's human he's class. The, uh, he's also a merchant, but he is he like. The Uber driver? He, that's he's it. Like the Uber driver. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I like it. Moppin. Okay. So he, he's I the guy it. we're traveling with? Yeah. Uh, hey, where do you boys need to go? Drive. East. I like it. Oh, yeah. Going east. That's what his driver is. What, 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 what race is he? It's human. 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 Okay. That's just his like him, so they name him Moppin. <laughs> <laughs> He's got long hair, like so. Was back in the day, flipped him upside down. It was a bad time for him in high school. So, right, we're heading east towards the market. Let's take you there. Safe travels. You look like the uh, cell sword type. Twenty gold. No. Guarantee you a safe travel. No. It, no. No. Uh, the wagon's being covered by the guild. Oh. So. You're, you've a, already been paid. A big commission. Uh, yeah. 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 Go talk. Yeah. Go yeah. talk to You're the clerk in there if you need your money. Yeah. I mean, you can try to and get a little extra. More That's more. what yeah. I actually was thinking. Was yeah. he but was just trying been to paid already by the guild. Okay. Well, we're all yeah. done. Okay. <laughs> all right. And so the party travels east. So the journey begins <laughs> uh, down the road, the easterly road. Where the fuck is that bard at? Someone fucking shut him up. Break the loot. <laughs> <Sort of shit. laughs> oh, that's a good idea. I kind of want to do that. A, a bard, he doesn't use a instrument. He just hums. <laughs> you can do that. Magic kazoo. I could do. Oh, <laughs> yes! <laughs> That's stupid. Uh, one of the juice harps. The dong, 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 dong. You can't say that. That's anti Semitic. What else do you call them? I don't know, but. A mouth harp's a harmonica. It's not one of the. I, I have two of those. I love those things. Anybody else think that Dave looked like he was giving somebody head just now? Just working the shaft? Uh, yeah, he was crazy some <laughs> shit right there. He was <laughs> Good girl. Well experienced. Good girl. Oh, anyway. <laughs> I think we're out of time. Oh, yeah, we've been out of time for a minute. <laughs> so, we will be right back.